Right guys, uh, this game here is called Ghost Bane uh, Prelog. It's, uh, it's in the free uh, to play uh, section of uh, Steam. Uh, it's called Ghost Bane. I'm um, just looking at it. I, I, I have to type this stuff down. So it takes me a bit of time to type uh, on my uh, iPhone and then obviously I will um, look at the description and then I will talk about the description of the game. So this is Ghostbane uh, Prelog. Uh, it's coming soon. So I just noticed this like a new game that I haven't seen. So it's coming soon. Uh, it's got a single player online co-op. It's got Steam achievements. Uh, it's got, um, what's this? Captions available. And it says Steam is learning about the game. Right, so it's saying it's learning about the game. Uh, it's Ghostbane. Um, trying to look and see about it. Right, looks like one of those scary type games. Uh, you know, the, the ghost ones. Where you have to scan stuff. Reminds me of a game actually, like uh, that game on the Wii uh, thing. What's that thing called? The Wii U thing. You know that game where you have to use a scanner to scan stuff and... I, I forgot the name of the game, but that's what it reminds me of. Right, it says an Intel i3 AMD equivalent. Um, then it says... Um, Nvidia GeForce GT 1030 4 gigs. So this this is very low requirement. It's saying Intel i5, the recommended or AMD equivalent, AMD FX uh, 9500 uh, plus series. It says uh, the graphics Nvidia GeForce GTX 2070. I've never heard of a GTX 2070, but uh, that's what it's saying. It, but it does say the minimum is the GT. 30 with 4 gigs of RAM. I'm just going to make a note of that uh, because obviously it might be interesting for someone who wants to actually play this game. I'm just going to put uh, NVIDIA GeForce because if I just write it down the way that I want to write it down, people might not understand what the GT 130 is, you know. Wait, is that a 150? All oh, right, yeah, it's not a 130, it's a 150. Right, but shouldn't that be TI? I think that's like for um, a PC, isn't it? That like the graphics card uh, for a PC. So that's the GT, uh, G, uh, sorry, the GT 1050. Because I know if it's for a laptop, it would be two gigs of uh, VRAM. But I know it comes in two different combinations. It can be two or four. But I thought a, a 1050 TI, right, would come with four gigs of VRAM. So that's why I'm saying. You see, there's a lot of scanning going on in the game. Right, so I'm gonna play the thing. Uh, it does support single player and online co-op, and it's got captions on it. So I think if you've got problems, like with, um, you know, I mean, you can always read it. It might be good if you're streaming this game. Right, I'm gonna play the trailer. Right, so this game is called Ghost Pain uh, Prelog. I'm gonna play the second trailer.
right so it's some kind of horror slash game you need to take pictures type because i see a lot of scanning going on it's holding a teddy bear there i think that's going to give you a fright as well this thing looks like a scanner of some sort maybe it's got some lights at the back it might be if a ghost is near then those lights start <laughs> going crazy it's 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 you see there's a video camera as well so maybe this is used to like um see invisible things i mean like things that you can't see normally so there's a video camera and it's glass things here with ghosts in them i'm just looking at the way i'm i'm looking at it. video camera with uh with the lens coming out of it this looks like a scanner i just watched the the, the trailer so the trailer was showing this to be some sort of a scanner uh, the video camera itself i i'm not sure what that would be used for but i'm just guessing uh this this looks like some kind of teddy bear uh that one looks like a weapon i'm not sure what that is uh and it's got another teddy bear it's got like that's the second teddy bear i've seen do not know what that item is right so this is ghost pain pre-log uh you just need a graphics card which is like the gt 1050 uh, like I've stated, it comes in two various types. You can get it in 2 gigabyte VRAM or the 4 gigabyte VRAM. The one that I understand, especially in laptops, the older laptops would be the GT. I don't know if it's the GT or the GTX 1050 Ti, which normally comes in uh, 4 gigs of VRAM. And obviously, if you can do one better than that, get the GTX 1060 at least. That's got 6 gigs of VRAM. Those laptops are old now. You should be able to get one at a good price. And then, yeah, I mean, I would probably, if, if I had a friend and asked me what laptop to buy, I'd probably say to him uh, a 1660 Ti laptop. That would be good. Or a GTX 1080 if you can get one. But it's hard to get the, that type of uh, laptop. So that's why I'm stating a 1060 these days uh, laptops, they're cheap. You can get it for like a two hundred dollars, hundred dollars. I mean, the very cheap laptop, so you can probably buy that. And uh, it's not asking for a lot. It's uh, like four gigs of VRAM. That should work on the Steam Deck, actually. That's what I'm thinking. So it might be just better to buy a Steam Deck then, than a laptop. Probably save you more money, right? So I've done our creators. I've done uh, Malvinas, and I've done SCP, and I'm looking for this guy. I've done. Uh, Throne in Liberty, and I've done Ghost Bane uh, pre-log. Uh, the next game, I don't know, why is it stuck on that thing? Um, I'm trying to see if I've missed anything. I'm just looking at games that I haven't seen yet. Right, so there's an interesting game I'm seeing here. Oh, look at this one, side scrolling. What's this one? Right, that looks interesting, and that looks interesting. These are games, these are free-to-play games. And the reason why I'm, I'm curious about this is because, uh, obviously, I like to see the, the newer games. There's this one also, Stree, uh, Stree Nova. Uh, this looks like um, a Battle Royale type game. And it's quite uh, good. It's got Amin um, characters. You know those uh, Japanese type? You know the cartoon that Japanese draw a lot? That's the kind of characters that's in this uh, Battle Royale. It looks really good. I want to make a, a, just a quick video on that. Uh, this, this, these are the last uh, trailers I'm going to be doing because I, like I said, I, I did actually want to play some games. But, you know, when I see games that I like looking at, you know, when I see games that look good, I can't help it but make um, a trailer. Like I said, these games are not yet out, but these games are actually free to play. So they don't cost you any money. So if, if, if you're worrying that this is going to cost you money, it won't. All these games that I'm, I'm actually featuring now uh, in this in the free-to-play uh, list they're not the same as the other games that I was looking at before uh, which was would have been like um, uh, in, in, in that one it was open world games so most of those games have demos or they were um, they were having um, sorry I'm trying to think yeah they were actually like discounted but only until the 3rd of November that's why I'm saying if you like open world games Go onto your Steam, get a free reward. There's free rewards. There's an avatar um, image uh, picture, and then there's an avatar thingy uh, frame picture frame that's free and a gem. It's free. It's free stuff. So if you're not interested in the games, just go and get your rewards and move on with the, whatever you do on Steam. Then, right. So I'm gonna do Rocksmith, and then I'm gonna do Hidden Hobo Cats, 
Uh, and then I'm gonna do this, I don't know what this game is called, but it looks good, Mida Heroes. I'm actually writing the names down, as I'm finding that if I write the names down, then uh, it kind of makes it easier for me to do what I wanna do. You, you know what I mean? So I can just make the trailers and just um, later on just type everything in. Right, so I think the game I was doing before was called Ghost Bane Prelog. It's a ghost game. 